Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Playmates Toys Ben 10 Omni Enhanced Forearms. Something is up with the Omnitrix, the mysterious sparks of energy erupting from Ben's trusty watch take his alien transformations to the next level. When Ben transforms, the extra energy affects each of the aliens in his lineup in a cool and unique way, giving Ben an Omnitrix Omni-enhanced upgrade of powers and abilities. As if forearms couldn't be cool enough, he gets upgraded. Let's do some measurements first and foremost, then we'll have a look at the figure. Uh, forearms here, despite being upgraded, is about five inches in height. All right, if you also want to see how wide he is, from his pairs of fists to pairs of fists, he's about seven inches in width. Now, I had a look at forearms a while ago, the original forearms, so this is a very, very much upgrade to the original forearms. You remember that particular design, forearms originally had, essentially, the lower half looks as if it's been reused. Of course, now they've given it a much broader uh, sort of presentation happening on the top here, but forearms initially had these similar arms happening up here as well, and his head was red. A lot of this blue and a lot of this, this additional armor, of course, wasn't there and is now part of the Omni Enhanced experience. I have to admit, I like the look of this figure. It definitely is much bigger and much bulkier. That's to say, that's that goes without saying. Uh, he is very heavy, too. As you can probably guess it, too, the enhancements, if you will, on top of him. So, like, basically, this part up here is the more upgraded end. The lower half still kind of retains the original forearm design. Uh, what I do really like about this, of course, is the fact that you get a nice big bulky figure, but you also get these cool additional arms. Now, it's he's four arms, but technically he's six fists. He's got six fists. He's got one, two, three, four, five, and six. The ones on the top here are a very nice translucent blue, which I dig really quite a bit. If you could actually believe it as well, each one of these fists do have posability. But by the nature of the fact that they are so close together, it's very tricky, almost difficult and impossible to get those arms to rotate. I suppose if you kind of moved them a little bit at a time, you can kind of get a little bit more of a slight tip to those, to those extra arms, those extra hands there. He's got all this extra green residual happening on the top of his shoulder pads. Um, the shoulder pads I can best describe as saying that they're almost like a purpley gray. They really do look nice, and they've got these little little notches and uh, little indentations happening in there as well. The face is similar, and yet very different, if that makes any sense. Um, the eyes are roughly the same sort of idea, as well as this lower half here. But instead of it being red, it's this, this beautiful purplish gray and then he's also got this crest on the top which almost kind of reminds me of the shredder which is fittingly enough because playmates also handles the teenage mutant ninja turtle property now if you may ask me does he stand well let me answer that with looking displaying him as you see right here even though he does have the big extra size of his extra hands on the top there the figure stands perfectly fine he technically does have peg holes on the undersides of his feet. So, you know, if you did want to get yourself a stand happening. But uh, I don't feel as if displaying him really is a problem. Even if I angle the shoulders up and I tip his arms up, the feet do a perfect job of just kind of keeping everything balanced so he's not going to topple over on me. Uh, speaking of his posability, though, uh, we'll just kind of bring his arms down here. Uh, one thing I do like is that the shoulders do move out of the way, so if you do want some extra clearance happening with those arms, the shoulder pads aren't going to say, no way, no way, Jose, not on my watch. They'll actually stay out of the way, and I do like that. Uh, for his posability, his head rotates all the way around. It's got like a ball joint happening here. The shoulders look like they're on universal joints, so not only do you have the hinge out, 
You can also rotate the arms forward and back. He does also have a swiveling happening on the lower arm, which also gives you an independent hinge happening there on the elbow. Sorta, kinda, you can also rotate the hands, but as you already saw earlier, that's not the most easiest feat to accomplish. Uh, he's got a waist swivel. The second set of arms, the more traditional forearms arms, uh, have the same sort of uh, articulation as the ones up here. So forward and back, uh, you can rotate them back and forth, bend at the elbow, rotate at the forearm, and you can actually rotate the hands too. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's lots more. The legs move forward, back, and to get them to move out, you've seen this before, you have to rotate the leg hinge this way, this way, and then you can move the leg out thus far. Uh, bend at the knee, which also l lets the lower leg to rotate. And even though he doesn't have articulation in the feet, the actual areas in his feet where he can move them, I don't really think he needs it. For all the other things he does move, I'm not going to complain one bit that he doesn't have ankle articulation. The Omni enhancements seem to affect a lot of the more older aliens that we saw in some of the earliest Ben 10 episodes. It's kind of nice to see them get a fresh new coat of paint, and ergo, it's also nice to see Playmates releasing the upgrades to the already released forearm that we had picked up before. Um, despite the fact that he's got all this extra plastic happening to him, uh, Playmates does keep the costs on the same uh, on par with the same figures that you've picked up before. So you don't have to worry about spending a little bit extra for getting a lot more bigger and bulkier character here with the Omni Enhanced Forearm. As a little side note too, I didn't think I was going to like the additional color palette that's been added to forearms here. I really did like the, the white, the black, and the red, but now looking at it in hand, I'm digging the new purpley gray that they've incorporated, as well as the turquoise. And don't even get me started on the translucent hands. I love those. It's a shame that you couldn't move them a little bit more, but an extra four hands above and beyond the already four hands that he had um, definitely does make this guy a little bigger, a little bulkier, and very impressive to have on display with the rest of your Ben 10 figures. Uh, if you are interested in picking this up for yourself, you can currently find this in some retail stores. You can find them at Walmart, you can find them at Target. Toys R Us, of course, is your best bet as well to pick up some Ben 10 goodness if you still have a Toys R Us in your area. I know in Canada, we are still keeping our Toys R Us's open. I'm not sure that's the case all around. I know a lot of Toys R Us's are closing in the US. And uh, so for that, I you have my condolences because I don't go to the Toys R Us very often, but when I do, I'm glad that it's still there. And hopefully, down the road or something, Toys R Us will work out some deal where the stores will maybe come back to the U.S. So, I don't know, fingers crossed. But you can still find these in retail stores. And uh, price point on these, you're looking at about a, an on average $10 to $12. So they're relatively inexpensive. Today, once again, we were having a look at the Playmates Toys Ben 10 Omni Enhanced Forearms. You want to go back and have a look at some of my other Ben 10 figure reviews? There's a playlist on the channel called, yes, you guessed it, Ben 10. As well, make sure you head over to my main page as soon as this video is over and kind of just scroll down the video section and see if there's anything that you may have missed. This is my new kind of pro proclamation for 2018. In 2017, we were pushing the idea of the bell notification, but that doesn't seem to always be fixing the problem anymore. So my best advice is, as soon as you guys watch these videos, head over to the main page, scroll down the video section, and see if there's anything that you may have missed. More videos, guys, will be coming your way. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.